OpenAI has announced that it is releasing Search GPT. Now, we all suspected this was coming, but what does it mean for you if you're a business and you rely on SEO and getting free traffic right now from Google? Well, in this video, I'm going to run through what Search GPT is, why it's different to Google, and also show you a full blog post that tells you exactly how you can rank your website in search gpt so that you're ready to get traffic once it goes live to everyone so if that sounds interesting keep watching so here's the page and i'm going to put a link to this page underneath it's literally chatgpt.com forward stroke search and it will take you to here and you can log in you can see i'm logged in at the top right there and then join the wait list so first of all that will get you here and get you at least in line to have a go with this technology early days. Uh, so what's special about it? Well, we all know that when you do a search on Google, you're going to be surrounding your results there with all of the ads everywhere. You may not get the best website with the best information first. You've kind of got to go past all those sponsored results, which seems to be getting longer and longer and longer, because obviously that's one of the many ways that Google makes money. But it's, it can be troublesome to find the right answer. And the thing about ChatGPT, even now is that you can find the information that you want very, very quickly just by asking questions. But now they've created uh, or in the process of creating a dedicated search engine effectively, which is super simple. As you can see right here, you're typing in your search and it's showing you just the exact information that you want with no clutter, no ads all over it, and also giving you that information in a variety of formats. So there's still a load of opportunity for you to get free traffic even when this goes live and it start, I do think that it will actually start to take some traffic away from Google for sure. As more people get the answers, they try it out, they get the answers they want really quickly. That Why would you go back to an older method that takes more time and more searching through text? It just doesn't make any sense. So let's go to the main learn more page. Here it is. And as they say there, we're testing search GPT, a prototype of a new AI search features that give you fast and timely answers with clear and relevant sources. And you can join the waitlist there as well, by the way. And there's like a sample right there um, of uh, search results being shown the way that they're going to show it. But the best part of it is once you've done a search, you can then also carry on talking with those search results. And the AI knows what you've already searched for and everything that it's already provided. So just in the same way that you use ChatGPT and it has a large context window is what we call it. It knows everything that's already been said so it can continue that conversation. You can do the same with the search results, which of course you absolutely can't do at the moment with Google. So it's going to be very, very interesting. So here's, here's an example of a search. Someone's typed in music festivals in Boone, North Carolina in August. It has a little think about it. And there they are. Look, just undistracted, perfect sequence of all of those music festivals with links. So we know it's accurate information. We don't have to worry about, you know, um, any of that kind of hallucinations and stuff. It's got this from the web anyway. And now we're able to carry on that conversation just down the bottom there. You know, it gives you a really nice, clear, concise answer as well. Now compare that with Google. Why don't we do that? So it says music festivals in Boone, North Carolina in August. And here is our results. And I'm going to do the exact same in Google. And you can tell me, you know, what you think. So over here then, new tab. I've just literally used the exact same search, music festivals in Boone, North Carolina. And yes, you've got a few events right at the top there like that and the dates of them as well. But then you've got to get past all of this stuff. People also ask. And then you're going down to all of these. And, it, and if you want to know, look, annual events near Boone, you've got to click on them. And then you've got to go through and then make a note of them all and so on. You can't talk with the results. You can't, you know, see which one's most appropriate for children or any of that. 
because you can't converse with the page. So that's why this search GPT is going to be a little bit different. And also what I find is some of the smaller events are not included in Google's events at the top there. Uh, so it's definitely a lot better, I feel, and cleaner to have the results like this. And so hopefully it won't take too long before they release it. You can see they've also got links to the actual source as well, which I think is very important. And then as we scroll down here, you can see on the left hand side, it also opens up a bar, a left hand bar of the results as well. So you can go through and see more uh, different results that's on your right hand side. So very, very good. I think it's worth getting on that wait list and seeing if this search GPT does as well as I think it will. But as a business, what do you do about it? Well, I found this detailed article here by Neil Patel, who of course is a well, well known uh, SEO expert on how to be one of those sites that get shown in search GPT, how to rank your website. So you can go through all of this article. It's pretty extensive. And he talks all about the best things to do from the point of view of SEO and to get recognized and get shown in those results. And it's a good idea to do this now because as soon as that search GPT is released, you know that ChatGPT currently has, you know, millions, hundreds of millions of users and they got them in a very short space of time by now they haven't released their current figures but i would imagine now you know 150 200 million and some i would think all of those people will have access to this new search engine straight away so once it's fully released and integrated into chat gpt so you need to do the work now um, to do effectively seo uh, for this new chat GPT search engine that's coming out. But this guide gives you a real good starting point right there as to how to make that happen. All right, if you like this video and you found it useful, um, please do press that like button. There's another video coming in a second. There's also a link to this page underneath the video as well. So you can go straight here and get stuck in and learn about how to get ranked. Thanks for watching. See you in another video.